everyone, it's Nancy Vastin and it's collage time <clears throat> for Eileen's Challenge. Yes, it is. Before I get started, I had a couple of questions on my comments about making the box. And I used, this is what I used for the hinges, and it's Recollections cardstock paper white, but I used the cream color because I couldn't find the white, and I couldn't find my, well, I didn't want to use white, and I really didn't want to use cream either. I wanted my card, my craft color, but I couldn't find it. But anyway, it's the cardstock. It is uh, 65 pound, and that's what I use for the hinges. I hope that answers the question. Today we are going to paste a whole page of Trader Joe's paper down on both sides. Because I don't want to really collage a lot, so... I'm just going to do one side at a time, and we're going to put the whole page down. And then I'm going to get some of this deli paper to put under here so I don't stick my pages together. And I'm going to use Liquitex Matte Medium Liquid. This to glue today and let's get started on this project how do the Canadians say it project the project I love that <laughs> I don't think Eileen says it that way but some of the Canadian people that I hear they talk they say pro project pro I don't know, project? Anyway, I think it's cute how they say it. And I have barking dogs. I don't know why they're barking. They just like to bark every time I get on the camera. They want to chime in. I'll put this side on here. Here comes Molly. She's going to come and chime right in. Belle, control yourself. Get this side down. So have you all been doing the collaging. I don't see very many people on YouTube doing this. Um, I don't go on the Facebook very often. I try to stay off of there and I'll tell you the reason why I stay off of there. It's because my grandkids find me and then they won't leave me alone. They won't let me look at anything. They want to chit chat with me and that's fine and dandy for a little while but it gets really old and it's really hard they don't understand why you don't want to talk to them, why you're busy. And if you're on YouTube, you should give them the, all the attention. And uh, so I just don't go on there. I just stay off of it unless it's real late at night. And then sometimes they're on it that late at night on their phones and that their parents don't know they're on. So, I more or less try to stay off of there. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to move over onto this side. Hope you can see. Move my little deli paper over here. And it's got sticky on it, so it's going to be sticky on that side. Put it back over here. Get another one. Oh, and I had have an, a mystery person, and I think a lot of people have had this mystery person, M. Arnold. Marnold is it's what it says on the return address. I bet you're just laughing up a storm, 
Marnold, because we can't figure out who you are. I know you're in Kentucky, because KY is Kentucky, and you're sending us cool as deli paper and tags and an envelope. And I'd love to know who you are, but more so, I'd like to know what kind of deli paper that is. It's really cool deli paper. But I'd love to know who you are mystery person that's sending out mystery mail and I got it quite a few days ago and um, I just couldn't figure out who this was sending me and then I saw that Callie Black got one and I think Dion Campbell got one I'm not sure and we're all wondering who you are. You mystery person, you. And yes, Dion, I did get your gourds. Thank you very much. I totally spaced them off and I got the seeds and I want to thank you so so very very much for them it was a time when I got them when my husband was really sick and my mind was blown away with what we had been told and I I just didn't recognize and thank you for them and I'm so sorry but I'm thanking you now and yes they are Wonderful. They're weird looking seeds. I've never seen seeds like that before. But I thought when the gourds come out in the store, I'd like to buy some. I know that Pipkins, I think Pipkins is like a roadside, uh, when you used to get vegetables and fruit at a roadside stand. Well, we have a store called Pipkins. It's kind of like that. It's open market. And um, they will be having some gourds when they pick them. And I want to buy a couple. I like to get a couple of big ones and practice on them and make some fun stuff. I'm going to use my little roller here and kind of roll this down, see if I can get it to stick down better. I don't know why, because I'm just going to put stuff on it. I need to cut around the edges. I'll do that after it gets dry. I was practicing. I was stamping off a stamp on this page. I thought that would be fun. This definitely makes the, pa the pages stronger without gluing them together. Okay, so I have some fun stuff. Some real fun stuff today that I want to put on the pages. I got to keep looking at my camera because it wasn't plugged in for a long time to make sure the battery's not going to start blinking on me. All right, let's see. I want to put on this side, look at this yummy, 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 yummy food. Yay, yummy stuff for fall. Falls right into your mouth. It's a caramel apple cake, I think, or something. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Looks good. Anyway, I thought I'd put that there. Yeah, you know what? I should just stay away from the edges. Yeah, roller it out. I love my little teeny tiny brayer. It's cool. I bought it to go on my little teeny tiny jelly plate. Alright, so now what are we going to put on top of that? I have all kinds of stuff. I have um, 
some pumpkins. Maybe not that one. Maybe this one. Pumpkin down here. But that's going off the page. I need to find where my... I need to really cut this so I know where my page ends. Okay, scissors. Let's cut this page. I know I'm off camera. I'm just cutting the page away. This book has really turned out to be fun. Really fun. I really enjoy doing it. Thanks, Eileen, for the idea. And I'm going to continue doing it after the challenge is over with. Because it's just a relaxing thing to do. This is not dry, so it's kind of tearing and making my scissors gooey. Oh well, I'll wash them off. At least now I know where my page is ending. So I can put my little things there. And oh, I love this. This is a fishbowl. <laughs> can you see those two little fishies? It's a fishbowl. I think I want him there. And there's a sandwich. Let's put a sandwich there. We need something that will go right here. There's a donut. Here's another jelly roll. Dunkin' Donut. Let's see. What have I got? Uh, that doesn't... Well, we can take that off. Take that off. We can put that there. It says... Or right here. It says keep cozy. And we can kind of cut this little fish bowl. Tear it down. Tear all the good stuff off of it. And we'll put that right down here in the corner. Like so. Yeah. All right. Let's glue them down. Let's get them glued down. I like this little jack-o'-lantern. We used to call them jack-o'-lanterns. I don't know where that came from. And we'll put this one that says keep cozy because I think these are cozy foods. We're going to keep cozy in our, our little warm house, but it's not so warm out here in my studio. It's kind of cold. My husband told me not to leave my iPad out here because it might not be a good idea to have it so cold. To bring all my electronics in the house, inside. Oh, I wanted this underneath. Yeah, just like that. And that one right there. Now, what else can we put on here? Let's see, it says, Autumn is the second spring when every leaf is a flower. That should go on that other page. I need some, some stuff here. Let's see, here's a stool. Has nothing to do with the food, but we're going to put it here. Just because we can. And I think that's about all we're going to get on this page. So let's move our 
goodies and move our page over to this other side. And let's see what we'll lay out here on this one. I don't think we need all this extra stuff around the pictures. And I like tearing it because it, it lays in there better. So we have these, and we have this right here, and look what do you, we have, we have cocktails with eyeballs, <laughs> I thought this green cocktail with eyeballs in it. That'd be fun right there. I need to cut this page off though. So I can see where we're going. not glued down very good. I need to stick it down better. It doesn't want to cut very good either. I need to glue it down better right here. My end frame. Move over so you can see. So I still haven't figured out how to edit my videos yet. I'm going to work on it. I just don't have the patience. I just do not have the patience to sit around and do that. I want to make them and get them up on YouTube. I don't want to sit around and fool with them. Are any of y'all like that or do you mind fooling with them? This page is tearing out of my book. It's tearing out. No, 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 don't do that. Okay, can you see when I'm at, where I'm at here? Okay, I want to put this here. And put this here. Somewhere on here I want to put this. And I like this. But Maybe I like these drinks. See these cocktails? <laughs> They're funny. One's a spider, one's eyeballs, one is bloody, and I don't know where the other one is. I don't think I had another one. And then we have spider with this here. And I think that's all we're going to get on this page. Really. So I don't want to overlap a whole lot. Alright, let's put them down and see what we have. See what we got.
I don't do Halloween, guys. I don't do Halloween at all. I don't decorate. I don't like it. I don't like Halloween, but this is kind of fun in my book, so. Hey, okay. I'm just bah humbug that way. I don't do Christmas either. I don't like all the frou frou. I'm Bahambug, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna put that here. And this one here, and then I'll find something, something else to go on this page. We gotta have other stuff on this page. What can we have? Mm, what do we have here? We have sandwiches. We can put a sandwich right here. sandwich we can have a donut oh I should have done something pink for um cancer awareness mm, yep I don't know what the color is for lung cancer I have no idea. I need to look that up. Here's a hoagie sandwich. We can have that right here. And here's a salad. And after we eat and drink all this, we'll be nice and sick. <laughs> you think? And here's another salad. Jelly roll. Somewhere I had candy corns. It was right here. I'm going to take it off of this part. Put candy corns right here. All right, guys, I think I'm done. I think I've done it all. What do you think? I'm liking it. My pages are coming apart, though. That's because I'm using wet glue. I might have to glue this page down to the other page. Yeah. I'm stuck to this deli paper. See, it's falling, it's coming apart. What should I do, guys? Tape it when it dries? Put some tape on it? That's what I'll do. It's I'll tape it, I'll put tape down it. That's probably what I should do on all the pages before I start is put tape down. Alright guys, 
I am finished. What do you think? What do you think? So, collage week. This one was food. All about food. <laughs> Here you go, Eileen. This is a collage for you. This is a collage for you. All right. Thanks, guys. Leave me comments and, you know, share, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.